Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome wherever part of the world you are in. Welcome. In this session, I want to show you how to mine unlimited, unlimited sepolia heat. What do I mean by unlimited sepolia heat? Unlimited in the sense that you can mine two sepolia heat today. Tomorrow you can mine another two. Next week, next month, next year. After two years, like so, that's what I mean with unlimited sepolia heat. And what is sepolia heat? Sepolia heat, or you can call it sepolia ethereum, is normally used to do destined projects on the ethereum network. So this sepolia heat doesn't carry any monetary value. It's not like the it, it, the Ethereum we know, and your know, that carries, uh, you know, monetary value. This one is called Spolia Ethereum, Spolia Heat, and it's only meant to do testnet projects. So, um, these testnet projects uh, is kind of you test blockchain projects, blockchain environment. That's uh, you test, you know their systems how their blocks can can they work effectively or there is a problem if there is a problem then the team can fix their blockchain before mo moving now to mainnet so mainnet now it is when the blockchain comes live and now can be used for real transactions so normally Blockchain projects first to some testnet just to confirm that everything is working as expected. And one fundamental that uh, one must have, you know, to participate in these testnet projects is this Sepolia E. If you have even just just uh, 0 0.1 Sepolia E is enough you know, to participate in two projects, three projects, and so forth. So, basically, let me show you how to, you can get it, and also you can participate is in as many projects as you can. Let's uh, start. First, uh, first you'll find the link in the description. Here is this website called Sepolia Pau Pau Fawcett. So that means Sepolia Blue Pau Work Fawcett. It's a uh, actually new. It's just a you know a faucet where you mine you mine Sepolia it. So yeah, new fashions require a minimum Kitcoin passport score of at least two, and then you can visit the Kitcoin website. Uh, to check but I will show you that but first I want to show you the basics eh? you can see my current session I've mined 1.7 Sepolia 8 and the remaining session time is 4 hours I started this session when it was 12 hours so I have already used 12 minus 4 that's 8 eight hours I have mined 1.7 Sepolia 8 so it's actually a very effective website to obtain Sepolia Ethereum and you should as well try the you know to follow the same 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 process now we will without wasting much time let's see how you, if you don't have or if you have kitcoin passport which is um your score is at least two then you are really really okay continue with you know the next step and then if you don't if you don't have the, you know, the Kitcoin passport of the list two, then I'm just gonna take you through on how you can get a score of at least two and above. So we'll go through it step by step. Then you will come, you know, you will understand that uh, it's a, you know, it's a simple process. 
that you can as well do. So, my average reward per hour, as you can see here, in 0 0.0228, then reward boost plus 70 percent if I want to get boost, then um and so forth. But first, let's go to let's go to Bitcoin Passport. The link just click on Bitcoin Passport link. Then you can also find the link in the description. I will open it in a new tab. Then you can see now it will open up the website. First thing I want to show you about my MetaMask. You know. Okay. Before I show you that, I want to pass through with my, you know, my my Ethereum, my Sepulia heat statistics. I currently have currently mined, as you can see, I first have to change my network. I'm, I'm in a different network. So change to Sepulia heat. Sepulia heat. So show this net networks and then you click on the poly. So I've made both point four the poly eight. And in my act this is my activity. This is my activity. That's four point four, then that's my activity. Now Okay, that's it. So let's now we will first we will now sign in Ethereum. We will return to the Bitcoin passport website. Then just click uh, sign in with Ethereum. Sign in with Ethereum. I'm going to choose MetaMask. You can choose a different one as well, but I'm using the MetaMask here. Confirm. Yes. I'm gonna just click confirm. Then it will load. Give it a moment. It will load itself. Then I'm gonna skip this. Get started. Updating score. Unique humanity score. Then, then, yes, success. Have a score of 20. And I received this score by just, you know, authenticating my github account and authenticating my binance kyc so you can get stamps you can get stamps using various ways like connecting your ethereum activity idena lens ens coinbase or moon google linkedin discord github Biometric, you see, so my valid stamps is just GitHub and Binance. So for GitHub, just log in and you allow the webs the Gitcoin password website to access your activity, then you will get your stamp. So for GitHub, I earned four points, that's I earned four points there. Then for Binance, I earned 16 points. So this actually means we're just having GitHub, which has given me four points. It's just that that one is enough to do the Sepolia 8 mining. So I, I just want to show you an extra step. For now, you can do the Binance. Confirm your Binance account, account token to prove your KYC. 
So here, I, you just click on that website to take you to a new tab. Then you gonna do your authentication there. So, but it's not actually compulsory because you can use other stamps to get just 0 0.5, 0 0.1, and that's enough, you know, to two days in spoiling rain. So let's go. Let's 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 see the one for my nuts. So I've already clicked the the link. In your Binance account, pound token, but that's the link. Now, here, as you can see, just scroll a bit first. You have to verify your identity. So, here, you just look into your Binance and confirm. Then, connect your, the wallet you use to connect to Bitcoin Passport. Then, confirm the wallet so by signing the message. And then, last step is get popped token. Get popped token is simply you confirm a transaction. I think it's costed me one dollar to do that transaction. Yeah, as I said, it is not compulsory, and uh, you can consider it or not. But I'm just showing an extra step so that you can consider if you want a huge get, you know, a huge score, more score. Yeah, to me. that's it actually on can participate on Binance account. Or well, now you can participate in the pub token. Okay, now I'm gonna start a new session in my in my Sepulia eat pow for said to just uh, show you how you can begin this step from you know from the beginning so i'm gonna claim this 1.794 i'm gonna claim that first yeah so claim mining and claim the rewards Claim rewards. Claim rewards again, and then I will open up my MetaMask to see the transaction. I'm kind of up for point four. Let's see if I will receive those one point eight. One point eight is about the read. Let's see for point four. Yes, I've received them from 4.4 4 to 6.2. So 4.4 4 plus 1.8. Let's. Okay, let me check first my. Yeah, I, I received 1.80. Good. Now. I'm gonna return to home page, stand to stand that page. First thing, I am gonna copy my MetaMask address. The network, of course, it should be Ethereum, Sepolia, it's a standard Ethereum supported network. That's mine is in Sepolia, so that's right, that's okay. That's okay, that's okay. It's Paul, yeah. I'm gonna copy the address. Paste my address. Then just solve that I'm not a robot. Yeah, and it will just automatically start mining. So, guys, everyone. If you find this video insightful, why don't you leave a subscribe and a like to this video? Smash and you know subscribe to this channel because 
I will be providing you with more insights on how to do basic tasks in the blockchain um, ecosystem. Like, subscribe, and let me see you again. I want to see you again in my next videos. So have a nice day, everyone. And, you know, you're gonna work, you're gonna, you know, give me, you also provide me with insights. And that's cool, cool. I'm gonna see you again in the next update.